All right, guys, you see the title. It's called 2D is not better than 3D. It looks like we're making an argument for why you should unplug out of the matrix. Stop cooming to 2D JPEG girls and actually make fulfilling relationships with real people, but with AI on its way. I think that it's just a matter of years before Apple starts releasing their AI waifus, right? These robot AI partners that can just be whatever your favorite anime character is going to be. But hey, we got this video from Mr. DeGenerosity. Let's check it out. <laughs> and you were looking kind of good. I'm trying to smooch those. Of course, you know, I would always let you smooch my lips. That's crazy. He doing full on fucking voice acting for the cut out of Hinata, bro. Okay, girl. And I think she's tied up. I'm not really sure. The image is kind of blurry, but if you look at her waist, it looks like she's tied up by rope. Shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Full tongue? There's many ways your child could be a disappointment. They could be a school threat. They could act a little too sus around their friends. They could play League of Legends. Or worse yet, they could have a room that looks like this. Now you. If I had a son and my kid, let's say he's like, I don't know, like 22. 22 is like a decent age where if you immediately went to college after graduating high school and, you know, did four years of college, and you passed everything and maybe there's no internships or anything. This is the age where you should be graduating and entering the workforce, right? But if they, if, if they were doing nothing with their lives and their room looked like this, I'd be probably disappointed. But... If they had their shit together and actually had career aspects and have a means of livelihood that stems from their passion, fuck it, you can have a room like this. I don't care, I'll join in on the fun. Now you tell me which one's more of a disappointment. I've been an anime fan for some time now. Since the start of my sophomore year of high school, I've been watching it consistently. And the more I watched, the more I became part of the community. You know, following anime pages, looking at manga recommendations, all of that. Everything yeah. was nice. Until I noticed, I started to see a part of the community I didn't like through the- Every, Like, enjoying manga, animes, everything is good. But then, in any community, there's always gonna be, like, a radical subsection. Like, a niche of people who are just completely just wilding out. It's gonna be the coomers that's saying 2D's better than 3D. These memes. These memes basically saying- <laughs> Okay, but the top picture here is, like, clearly, like- Probably like an OnlyFans or like a cosplay girlfriend that they're making, you know, fun content with. I don't think this person is far gone, but weebs, know your place, you 3D girl. I mean, shit, like 2.5D Ririsa airing right now, right? That whole anime is all about like, nah, no 3D. I don't care if you're a big titty girl that can cosplay all my favorite, you know, anime characters. I'm gonna stay loyal to my cutouts. 2D women, aka anime girls, are better than real women. Now, I already knew most anime memes are pretty bad and not- I mean- they're just memes, right? And here, here's the scary part. Most people know that these are just memes. Even myself, I've said 2D better in 3D. Ironically. Sarcastically. Because it's just a ridiculous thing to say. But some people, they're not joking around. <laughs> some people, they're genuine about it. And it stems from, obviously... I, I, if you think about the average person that watches anime or consumes it, I don't think it's a very good representation. They're usually social outcast. Anime manga was not very, you know, accepted on the mainstream community compared to now in the past, right? And they're usually kind of like outcasts. They have no place to belong. They feel like they've been shunned by society for enjoying, <laughs> you know, just lollies and G-strings, you know, fucking dance around on screen. And sometimes there's a time and place for that. But that those kind of people, the more that they're kind of like shunned and pushed away from society, the more they're going to, you know, retract into their little shells and form a community and, you know, make an army of fellow losers online and truly believe that 2D is better in 3D. Not funny, but this is a new low. This is not what I wanted to be associated with. And you might think, oh, they're just posting it ironically. Some people do. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. But some people also just actually are knee deep in this philosophy. No, they're not. For like most meme pages, you could tell if they posted a meme ironically based on what they posted before, the captions, and whatnot. I started this day at 9.15 a.m. with a two-hour delayed Megabus, and I'm ending it at 9.40 p.m. with the free Uber and plane ride. Just a reminder that this is America and anything is... Yeah, you, you can obviously... Like, when you read something, it sounds so ridiculous that it's like, they gotta be joking around. Uh, but this is anime meme pages we're talking about. They're actually for real about this. 
2D Master Race. Nico Nico Ni, majestic, majestic Smile. 2D is love. 2D is life. God tier. 3D Pig. Disgusting. Eye bags. Ew. Shit. Ugly Smile. 0% sex appeal. Not kawaii. Shit tier. <laughs> Just also funny that like these disgusting weebs that are probably out of shape ugly motherfuckers are they have the audacity to like they criticize other people based on their looks like they're like you think you genuinely think the girl on the right is disgusting like look at yourself in the mirror first and so are the people that like and relate to these memes this is a problem real women are better than 2d women this is sad that i even have to now i'm willing to make an argument that like real women aren't better than 2d and 2D aren't better than real women. Uh, maybe there's like, like who are like, <laughs> it's some, uh, I, I feel like the normative position is that you should probably, you know, prefer a real person, right? But uh, to some people, you know, they've been betrayed by expectations. They've been betrayed by girls. I don't know. Maybe they got cheated on. They retracted their shells again and they're going to forever be recluse. Is the notion that uh, maybe none of them is better. Right? 2D isn't better in 3D. 3D isn't better in 2D. Everyone enjoy what they want and leave people alone. Why not? Why not about that? To say this, because no duh they're better, but some of y'all need that repeated to you. Like you own 15 body pillows. <laughs> it's the boys. <laughs> the boys having a sleepover. But the funniest thing is, these two are sharing the same waifu. Now, I wonder if the blue hair girl, maybe they're twin sisters, right? So they can share each sister, but just... Aren't you getting cucked right now, bro? Like, like, aren't you sharing the same fucking girl waifu on the pillow? And conceptually, this is the other hilarious thing, where they're like, you know what? If I give up on real women, I can no longer be ever cheated on. I can't get cucked. But here's the thing. For... Like, like, you choose a fucking 2D girl to, you know, have as your fucking body pillow, thinking that she's yours forever. Just realize that there's probably many, many, many other people with the same fucking body pillow, right? All fucking coom into the same girl. So, can you truly say that you're not getting cucked if you, you know, take the safe route with 2D girls other than 3D? And you wonder why your family stopped talking to you. There are some weaves out there. <laughs> Wait, this meme. This meme is, um when it's basically the asian parents meme where it's like when the when your parents catch you with the calculator because <laughs> you know an asian child should be able to do math way faster than the calculator so this is a fucking disappointment talking to you there are some weaves out there that take this whole waifu thing too seriously watching high school dxd and wishing all the girls in that show would flock to you like they do isei but this is but like that's not a bad thing i enjoyed high school dxd and i kind of wish that those girls would flock to me but I know how to separate fiction from reality, and I also have a healthy relationship with my girlfriend. Like, you can enjoy many things. It's just the moment that you kind of dissociate, like, you disconnect from, like, what is, I guess, quote-unquote, normal, the status quo in society, and you further plunge into degeneracy, you get lost in the sauce, and you can no longer kind of, you know, have a reference point of what is good, what is bad. It's real life, and real life girls don't act like that, unless they're groupies. But ain't no groupies looking for men that don't shower and play osu. They're looking for rappers and basketball players. Can you play ball? I don't think so. So now these people denounce real women and make themselves <laughs> believe that. 3D girls applying makeup, working out, and eating right. 2D girls, look at the fraction. Look what they need to do, mimic a fraction of her power. I've seen this meme template a lot. I think this is from, like, Invincible, right? I mean... Uh, like, like... There's this constant, like, a, like their win talking point is, like, a 2D girl will never get old. They will always be perfect. They don't fart. They don't poop. They'll be perfectly pure forever for you. This is honestly sounding kind of like Regulus from ReZero, where these insecure dudes just feel like their, their partner needs to be this, like, object of purity and perfection. And they can be... But that's not a human, right? That's not a human at all. But that's what they want. They want something that is not real because real is often disappointing to them. And in order to not be disappointed, they resort to 2D. This is superior. 
I just know their ancestors are rolling in their graves right now. I feel like it's obvious, but this is what I like to call 500 pound activity. <laughs> Ain't no way you think this and not run out of breath when you walk up the stairs. People like this is the reason why I never say I like anime in public. Unless I know the other person likes it too, or they ask me about it. They giving us normal anime fans a bad name. A and for what? Just cause they never interacted with a girl outside of their screen? Stop doing that, you're making us all look bad. And 500 pound activity. I'm the biggest hypocrite right now, saying, ain't this you making these videos? Ain't this you? You one of the most down bad niggas I've ever seen in my life. Now, yeah. listen, yeah. those videos are jokes. Okay, he's just horsing around. He doesn't really mean it. It's not. They're at least super exaggerated. The only time... Basically, the difference is he knows that it's a joke, then he's not, you know, genuinely serious about it, but... Again, some people truly do believe that 2D is better in 3D, and that is the unhealthy part we're trying to talk about. Where I'm actually 100% truthful is when I said Testament of a New Devil is the best. <laughs> Yahoo! Sister Testament New One day. I mean, we watch High School DxD. I'm expecting to watch this show one day in her channel. It's edgy. That's it. Everything else is exaggerated. Like, I actually don't care about Samsung Girl. She looks like an alien. Maybe Makima is not that exaggerated though. And I'm also not saying it's bad to have waifus or find cartoon characters attractive. Like everyone has popped one to Mr. Clean before. What? I mean, his head is very shiny. But like, again, there is nothing wrong with, you know, finding 2D characters appealing. They're meant to be appealing. They're super hyper exaggerated with art. It's, it's a work of fiction. And that's the beautiful part. It's a work of fiction. It's not real. You should have the common sense to be able to realize that this is a work of fiction. It's not real. It cannot substitute for the void in my heart because I've been betrayed by 3D. Sometimes you should take a deeper look at yourself rather than trying to cope with your fucking loser life. Or was that just me? Oh my goodness, he is cheeked up. It's all right to have your waifus. I got mine. But sometimes there's those few people that ruin the fun for everybody, saying out of pocket stuff, doing too much obs. Girls, did you know that? Um, <laughs> your opai. <laughs> hey, it's Misaka! Oh no, but that's not Misaka. That's Misaka Misaka. That is the tiny Misaka. That's the 20,001 Misaka. The last order Misaka, I think. <laughs> Oh no, leave her alone! Where's Accelerator? Someone call Accelerator! Get her help! Sessing over these fictional characters that are most likely made by a man that looks like this. This is who your waifu really is. That's a very good point, too. A lot of these, like, super hypersexualized, like, anime characters, like... It, 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 do you know why they are so appealing? It's because it's a bunch of dudes creating them, because dudes know other dudes' fantasies. Right? No real girl would ever be that, you know, hypersexualized anime character, but you really think about it. You are just getting off on a creation of another man. But <laughs> wait, 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 we can do some mental gymnastics. If we take into the argument of you're getting off to the creation of another man, well, what about a 3D girl? That is also a creation from another man, albeit, you know, there's probably a woman involved, right, in the whole process of reproduction. <laughs> but where are we going with this? Like, bro, you can't talk to your waifus. You can't touch your waifus. You can't do anything with them. Their drawings. Their fiction. Like, people nowadays are worried about this streaming parasocial relationship. But imagine having a relationship with someone that doesn't even exist. How about a VTuber, man? The whole parasocial streaming experience. But rather than, you know, a physical model, you have a 2D avatar of a anime girl how about that like some people really out here marrying their face yeah i saw one of these things where a dude married hatsune miku but the really sad thing is after a couple years the um company that was making the product for you know sustaining like the i guess, I guess hosting servers or whatever for the hatsune miku model they discontinued the product and the service so he like Got his wife who take it away from him, which was funny and sad. Favorite characters in real life, where I know people say, as long as he's happy, but there's gotta be a limit. You haven't heard of the mangakas like Takahashi Rumiko and Kawachita Mizuki? Female mangakas? What are we fucking doing here?
You can make outliers of specific minority examples of female authors that may make hypersexualized characters. But still, if you look on the overall fucking graph, there's a lot more dudes pumping out this content. Stop trying to have a fucking gotcha moment. You don't even fucking understand the point I'm fucking trying to make. Congratulations, you came up with a fucking outlier. So what? Does that disprove the notion of what this guy's saying right now? Some people genuinely make their own fucking arguments in their head. You're, you're, fuck, you're, you're boxing a shadow. You're ghost hunting right now. Completely. Just, it's like, I enjoy pancakes. You hate waffles? Like, just, can, can you just watch the fucking video? You can't tell me this is healthy. Like, you're really picking a drawing, an object, a piece. Oh, that was Kotori right there. Day to live. And that's, that's a white ribbon Kotori too, the more submissive one. Object, a piece of paper over actual box. Bruh, go outside, breathe, nigga. Br but like, they can't. There's a deeper problem here. You can't just tell these people to just go touch grass. It's like the same thing of telling a homeless person, bro, just get a job, get a house. You t it's like you tell a poor person, have you thought about being rich instead of being poor? There's a lot of reasons why people turn out like this. And yeah, you can just tell them to get good, but that solution is not really a solution, right? There's like a whole deep rooted issue into why people turn out like this. And at the end of the day, I think it's because people feel betrayed that they got hurt. It's like the same thing of, you know, a person has a bad relationship with a girl or a guy, and then suddenly, you know, they just label the entire fucking, you know, opposite, opposite gender just terrible or evil. And then they'll retract. One single bad experience is enough for people to just hide away in their shell because they don't want to be disappointed. They don't want to be betrayed. And then in order to cope with the situation they're in, they're going to rely on certain coping mechanisms such as 2D better than 3D. Breathe the fresh air so you no longer have to be part of this foolishness. I can smell you from here. <laughs> and it's not like a Mr. Bitches either. I'm not Gary from Pokemon having- That is so fucking based that he has pom-pom cheerleaders and a table pulled up while the Virgin Ash is getting all angry. Bro is sipping fucking tea, legs crossed. Who pulled up this chair and table in the middle of the street? The whole cheerleading squad on his- He got six cheerleaders? They're like milfs too, bro. They're not even like young- What the fuck? We should watch some Pokemon, man. We should watch some Pokemon on the second channel, man. Lap. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I get no bitches. Absolutely. And wait a minute. Isn't Gary, lore-wise, the son of Professor Oak? So, who do you think Gary learned this shit from? Why do you think Professor Oak told Ash to go on an adventure and leave your mom at home alone? You ever think about that? Grandson? Okay, my bad. I thought it was his dad. Wait, you, you ever think about that? Also, who's Gary's mom and dad then? I want to know who Gary's mom is. Leading squad on his lap. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I get no bitches. Absolutely zero play. But I'd rather be dead before I ever make a claim like 2D over 3D. Like, this is what no pussy does. <laughs> okay, I think these are I I think these are meme pictures. They can't be these can't be real. HP. Kuroneko. Oh no. The positioning of her arms. Oh, no, I don't th I think there's covering something that we can't show here for sure. You got to feed her better food than this. What the fuck are you feeding her, bro? Shitty ass fucking, what is that? Oatmeal? Dry ass fucking oatmeal? Are you feeding her fucking, it looks like she's being fed like animal food, bro. And then this one? Uh, I don't know. Probably some moe girl from a slice of ice show. It's just toast. Croissant. Strawberry jam. Toast. Coffee. It's a bit better than the last meal, I guess. You're a motherfucker. My waifu is real and should be treated as a person. It's Misaka again. It's the same guy. This guy's a huge uh, Toaru fan, huh? I need feminism because waifus deserve the same respect as a real women's. <laughs> respect, we need to respect. I, I think the whole root of why people deserve respect is because they have rights right they're like real people they have rights this, this, this is a pillow it's, it's the wife who isn't real do they need to be respected i mean yeah why not i guess we can re still respect a waifu but this gotta be a joke post this has to be a joke post 
Hey yo, why my channel on that? But overall, those are my thoughts on the topic of 2D versus 3D. Wait, what's that? What? Not done yet. You're sexually attracted to children? Well, that means you're a lollycon. <laughs> it's just a drawing of a little girl. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do. Again. Oh boy, we're gonna make the fucking lollicons mad again. Every it's so funny where people just like enjoy my reactions and think that I'm like their ally in the degeneracy of being lollicon. Listen, if you're a lollicon, be a lollicon all you want, right? But I'm also free to say I think it's fucking weird that you get off the drawings of prepubescent children. And the whole notion right now, it, it, the same thing is kind of being brought for Capella and Rezero right now. For sure, you can make the argument that, no, she's not a lolly like Bieko or Mady or these actual toddler-looking figures, but she is like a petite girl. And I think that this is kind of more mental gymnastics where one can easily say there's like a spectrum of what like a lolly body type could be. And Capella's definitely on the upper bound of what should be like, you know, like a fully developed girl versus like a petite girl. You can say that she's stunted, you know, short, you know, short women that are flat exist. But, like, it's the portrayal of them. The complete young face, the portrayal of their body physique. And then lollicons literally do mental gymnastics to, like, justify, No, no, that's, that's totally fine. It's a petite girl instead. Bro, just be honest with yourself. Just say you enjoy that shit. That's what I'm mad about. Like, if you want to get off on that body type, go ahead. But just don't fucking play the charades and act like she's not, you know, trying to be perceived as a lolly or whatnot. Maybe you can make the argument that a lolly and a petite girl, there's like an upper bound and maybe we can contra contrast the two. But I think a lot of people are fucking coping and use this fucking narrative of like, what, you don't know that short girls and flat chest girls exist? For sure they exist. But how are they being portrayed, right? It just looks like any fucking other lolly to me. And the best arguments, right? You have it right here, all the talking points. It's just like, it's just a drawing of a little girl. It's just like, what are you talking about? So what if I'm 35? Besides, we evolved to be attracted to the most fertile of females. I don't think girls that didn't even hit puberty are fertile. It's literally like a green fucking apple. Can you wait until it ripens later on? Haha, <laughs> you probably like women your age. <laughs> you got me. Honestly, I like them older. So you think being a lollicon is the same thing as being a pedo? No, I don't actually. I think a lollicon and a PDF file is two separate things. A PDF file is someone that's actually committed the act. You can be a lollicon enjoyer and not be a PDF file. But here's what I think. I think every PDF file, if they were given a picture of a lolly from an anime, they would definitely be attracted to it. Don't fucking try to do this dumb fucking charades of like, huh, what, just what, so, so if I enjoy playing video games and killing people, then am I gonna be a fucking murderer too? Not everybody, but I guarantee you that some people that actually do enjoy just shooting people up, they're going to see a game that they enjoy that's shooting people up. They're going to like, yeah, align with that. Just use some fucking logic. Stop trying to do this mental masturbation to justify your stance. If you want to get off to it, just be honest. Just say you enjoy it. Stop fucking playing around in the bushes. You actually think I'm a pedophile because I like 11 year olds? Not quite. I think you're on the way there. I think you're definitely almost quite there. You haven't really committed the act, and I'm scared that you would. Another really interesting talking point that people use to justify Lolicon content is, well, you know, pedophiles, it's like an outlet of release. Rather than them actually going and doing that shit in IRL, they can imagine doing it to a fucking drawing. And I, when I hear that, I'm like, <sighs> do you even hear what you're fucking saying? Yeah, for sure. Maybe we can use a Lycon as like a fucking shield against real girls. So like what? That's a good thing that you are now, you know, satisfying your urges through these drawings. And therefore, it's a fucking good thing. That's definitely one talking point. So <laughs> just ugh. Um, ugh. Let, let me put my two cents on these people real quick. Lollicons are basically EDP spirit animal. They like their 2D characters. There is nothing wrong with thinking that these girls are cute. You want to give them head pats? I think, I think these two girls are so, so cute. But that's it. I end it there. Some motherfuckers go on to say the most unhinged things about it. And then, yes, here's the other thing. Well, actually, the one on the left is a 9,000-year-old dragon. 
Listen, it's not about the fucking lower age. That's more mental gymnastics. It's the fact that you get up on these body types and there's something inherently weird that just shakes me in my soul and if you want to just just stop doing the mental gymnastics just say it just be honest and be yourself i'm not saying like like i'm not saying kill all the lollicons put them all in jail no i think you can enjoy whatever you want just stop being dishonest just say you enjoy it and move on young and uh Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That hand placement. Isn't this seven deadly sins? <laughs> no, it's a shoulder. It's uh, there's no way that, 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 that what is the, the, the gripping here is kind of sus though. The gripping here is kind of sus. What, what the? There's nothing to grip though. It's a chop. I don't know. I don't want to say it. Ugh. And uh, I, I don't even know what to say. Like you weird. You actually weird if you're a lollicon, bro. Like, okay, I get the drawings, but being attracted to a drawing that looks like a literal child, or is a literal child? No, she's a 9,000 year old demon or a lolly. And if it's a little bit, you know, taller or, you know, petite, it's a petite girl, not a lolly. These are definitely lollies, right? These are definitely lollies. Bro, that's weird, bro. I don't care. That's sus. You shouldn't be around school zones. Like, I know playing Genshin Impact does a lot to a man's brain <laughs> and appearance, but okay. you don't have to do this. And usually they say a dumb excuse like, well, actually. It's just the drawing. And then I counter. Can you tell me exactly what the drawing is? Can you describe the drawing? And then you'll realize how uncomfortable it is to say, well, it's a drawing of a... What? Can you say it? Can you really say it proudly? If you can? I think you're so far gone. <laughs> I think that you are so fucking far gone. Nimwit. She might look like an eight-year-old, talk yes. like an eight-year-old, have the personality and brain but actually, of an eight-year-old, but you are mistaken. She actually is a 700-year-old goddess, queen of goes 400, but yes, keep going off. Queen of England. So, no, sir, it is not weird for me to be attracted to her and her eight-year-old body. I think, again, age has nothing to do with it, and that sounds weird, but hear me out. It's this whole mental gymnastics of, like, 9,000-year-old fucking demon, you know, girl, or some sort of dragon girl, right? Some sort of vampire. The age is mental gymnastics. All I care about looking at a body type. Does it look like, not even just body type, the way that they're presented. When I look at this girl, it's very clear that she is a toddler. When I look at Capella, now obviously Capella is older, right? And she's definitely a little bit bigger. But I still see her and I'm thinking, you look like a fucking high school kid. You look like you're like 15, 16 with that short petite type. I ain't about it. I'm out. Just say you're a pedophile, bro. Just say you like little kids, man. I'm not trying to hear your defense before you go to court. And like I said before, I get it. They're drawings. They're not real. But I'm going to still look. But what is it a drawing of? Get you different if you're a lollicon. I'm never letting you babysit my children. I'm never. Yeah, and then there's the other opposite spectrum where you have like Yamada Anna, right? She's like a middle school girl. She's like, what, like 14 or some shit? 13, 14. But she literally looks like a college girl. That is the other end of the spectrum that we don't really have to care about because lollicons are not into that body type. So it's really funny how it really isn't about the age. Even to the lollicons themselves, right? Even to this PDF, they would never touch. They probably wouldn't. Maybe there's like sub, sub like subgroups of, you know, pedophiles where they really enjoy the lollified bodies or the other side enjoys more, I don't know, more developed but still young. I don't know, this, this sounds so weird to just even just fucking make theories about it, but I don't think we have to really worry about lollicons getting into Anna. I haven't done anything like okay. this before! Okay. Calm down, look, I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. My name may be Degenerosity. But I have standards. So to sum everything I set up, it's all right to get a little hard for cartoons sometimes. <laughs> Unless you like lollies, get away from me. You probably don't wash your hands. But don't value- Wait, Darling and the Franks just got shit on. <laughs> What's wrong with the show? But there's no lollies in that show, is there? I don't think I remember seeing like a body type that resembles that. 
Like, I know there's like zero two and other girls, that's pretty much just like that high school kind of type, right? Is there anything else going on? I, I don't know. Maybe one day we have to fucking check it out. You don't wash your hands, but don't value them over actual woman. That's sad. Snap back to reality. At the end of the day, your waifu isn't real, but Ash Cash is. Pick <laughs> Ash Cash. It's the other spectrum. She's not real for you either. You will never get her. You're also fucking brain rotted if you think that you can go for these porn stars or, you know, other fucking OnlyFans or IG girls. Just go fucking meet some real people. Meet some real people. And like, again, you made us say, I know, I know this is a joke, but like, you really think you can fucking bag her? You play ball? Are you a fucking rapper? You trying to get a fucking groupie? Nah. Go meet some real people grounded in reality and touch some grass. But again, this is not a solution. You can't just tell a retracted person who's just a complete degenerate needs to do this shit. They won't. And there's not an easy solution. It's, it takes a long, long time. Over your waifu. Any day of the week. Anyways, in conclusion, follow me on Twitch. We're going to do a waifu tier list tomorrow at around this time. And okay. like and share the video to spread the word. You got more I jokes? Said to you. I am Pastor Degenerosity, and I'm heading out. Bye. All right, that's pretty much it. And that was a great video. Here's a link. Please go check out Mr. Pastor Degenerosity's channel. But in the topic of, again, like lollicons, I do not think lollicons are PDF files. But I definitely do think that PDF files would enjoy lollicon content. It just makes sense. And some people try to do the stupidest fucking mental gymnastics of like comparing like fucking video games or other active like violence in game. But yeah, I, th I still think that the argument fucking holds up. And if you truly need to do mental gymnastics to protect your position, I ask yourself why? Why can't you just be proud of what you enjoy? Why do you feel the need to do these stupid fucking mental gymnastics to try to convince yourself that your position is somehow correct? It's because you inherently subconsciously know what you're doing is wrong. But I don't even care about that. I just care about you just being shameless and say, I enjoy it because I enjoy depictions of lollies. That's it. Just be weird and just say it out loud. But it's just, uh, again, just, it's just this fucking mental just gymnastics people do to always try to justify. Oh, but please, but it's just, it's just. Nah, that's, that's so fucking far gone. I'll see you next time.